Hey, it's David Poole with the Atlanta Guitar Academy. Um, I'm going to be playing Steve Morris's introduction. Um, he plays this song with different technique. He holds this pick with like three fingers and stuff. So I have different techniques. So my way is a little different, but it's all the same notes, I think. So we'll try here. So. So that's basically the song. Um, starts out with a. Now that's the part. It's the hard part of the song. The other part of the song we can go over later. But if you listen to the song on this part, the bass is kind of landing on odd, odd beats, uh, and not always obviously on one. He does that a lot. That's his style. But on this first chord, you got an A. So basically, I'm just going to go through the chords for you. The first one's you just need one finger. All right, so you're going to add the seventh. And now you're going to go to B, but you don't need the whole B chord. You're going to just add these two notes here, the third and the root. So you're going to go, and then you're going to play the, a unison. You're going to play open E, then the E here. And now you're going to play this shape right here. This is a really cool chord. I use it a lot. It's a first inversion of A. So here's the root, there's the third, there's the fifth. So you can use this chord when you're resolving up a half step. But it goes to that A chord, then you move it up a whole step, and it's a B chord. Now it goes to a D shape, but it's an E. It's moved up two frets. It ends up being an E. And he puts the third in the bass while I'm using my thumb. And now he's going to go again to an A first inversion. So it ends up being, it looks like a G without this note. And it is G form. Just those four notes. And he goes to a D without the first string. And then he's going to go slide into this C form of an E chord. If you move an E chord up to a D, you got the E right here, just don't play this open G string, whatever you do. So it goes, and then it'll open E. Now I play this like this. I use a, it's like a minor seventh chord, but you raise the fifth to right here, and you get, and it's written out in the tab exactly. And then again, we got this first inversion like we were doing down here, but we're going to bar the whole chord. And then the last chord. And I use the open E at the end. This last lick goes like this. It looks like this little minor shape stack. But before you play that, those three notes, you're going to play a fourth right here. An F sharp, a B, C sharp, E, and G sharp. And then he uses his thumb to play the E. And then he goes to this Now that's the way I play it, but he does play it a little bit different. Um, so that's what I, the one thing I want you to go over this week is look over the first part of introduction. I hope that's helpful. I'll see you next week.